Hi, welcome to Cord Cutters. My name's Ryan Lawler, and Cord Cutters is all about helping you save money by canceling your cable subscription. This is a big week for me. I'm a big Phillies fan. Pitchers and catchers just reported to spring training. And so this week, we're going to talk about how to get sports content online without paying for cable. It's the biggest question that we get asked by our viewers and our readers. So we're going to walk you through baseball. We're going to walk you through NBA and hockey and how to get all of that without paying for cable. So I'm a big baseball fan. I'm a Phillies fan, but I live on the West Coast. And MLB TV is a service that lets me get access to all the games live and on demand. I can watch them on my iPad. I can watch them online on my computer. I can watch them on a number of streaming devices, whether it's the Roku or the Boxy. And MLB TV has been doing this for a number of years. So it's a really mature service. It's a really great service. Um, it's in HD quality, there's all sorts of great special features, box scores, player highlights, that type of thing. Um, there are two packages, one of them is uh, $100, and that basically gets you, you know, pretty much everything that you'd need. Um, access to all the games, you know, live and on demand. Um, it's in HD quality, and you can watch it on all the different platforms that's available. For $120, you get a little bit more. You get multi-game views, so you get picture-in-picture. Picture. Um, you get uh, you can track individual players and you know see when they come up to bat. Um, and it also has access to home and away broadcasts, which is really the thing that I love about it because it lets me listen to you know the local Phillies broadcasters whenever I watch a game. Overall, MLB TV, it's a great service. I highly recommend it. I subscribe every year, and I, I just love it. If you're an NBA fan, NBA has a broadband service as well. It's called NBA League Pass Broadband. They have two packages. One lets you follow, pick and follow seven teams throughout the season, and you can watch all of the, the games that those teams play. Um, that one starts at $120. However, if you're a huge NBA fan, you want to watch you know, basically all 30 teams, it's $190 for the season. Now we're about halfway through, so they've uh, cut the price. It's 65 for seven teams and 100 for, you know, all of the teams right now. So, you know, if uh, you missed half the season, but you want to start tuning in, you can do that now. Uh, also, NBA League Pass Broadband is uh, available on a number of different mobile devices. It's on the iPad and the iPhone. Um, and you can also watch it on your big screen if you've got a Samsung TV or you've got a Roku. If you're a hockey fan, and I know that there are at least three of you out there, um, the NHL has a service called Game Center Live, which is like a lot of the other services that we've talked about. Um, it starts priced at about $180 at the beginning of the season, but they've lowered it down to $80 right now. Uh, that gives you access to about 40 games a week. Um, which is more than anyone would probably ever want to watch. Um, but it has lots of really cool features. It allows you to do home and away broadcasts. It has, you know, picture in picture. You can watch four games at once. It's also available on a number of different devices. You can watch it on the iPad. You can watch it on the Roku. Um, and also, if you have a PS3, you can watch it there as well. Another cool service, especially if you have the uh, Xbox is ESPN3. It's a broadband service that's available from ESPN um, to certain uh, subscribers of internet services. It gives you access to live games, clips, highlights, um, and uh, on-demand videos from lots of different uh, sports leagues. So. Right now, there's lots of NCAA games that are upcoming and available. There's also access to uh, soccer league games and Euro basketball games, um, and lots of highlight clips from ESPN's regular sports programming as well. Uh, this service is available to subscribers of certain uh, internet services, so you'd have to check with your broadband provider to determine whether or not you actually have access to it. But uh, if you've got an Xbox, you can check it out through that. Uh, otherwise, you can also check it out online through your uh, PC. One final thing to note, though, for all of these services, whether it be MLB, NBA, NHL, is that due to uh, TV rights and local blackout restrictions, if you're a local sports fan, for instance, if you're a big San Francisco Giants fan and you're living here in the city, 
Um, those games will be blacked out on MLB TV, so you won't be able to, you know, watch them online. Um, unfortunately, you know, being a sports fan, especially a local sports fan, is still tough. So you can either pay for cable or, you know, if you really need to see the games, uh, my suggestion is just meet up with a bunch of friends, go to the pub, or, you know, find a friend who has cable and go to their place instead. Those are just some of the ways that you can find sports content online, but we'd love to hear from you. Uh, tell us how you're coping with being a sports fan and not having cable. So send in some letters, send your strategies to cordcutters at gigom.com, or you can follow us on Twitter at cordcutters. We'd love to hear your stories.